question one simply supported beam and this is where we have a beam where we don't know where the loads going to be it is at the third span position anywhere within the beam the beam is a 178 universal beam which is a British section the I value and the modulus E is given for steel and if you look at figure 2.2.13 this is where they cover the principles behind this problem and the story behind this is that the contractor would like to pre-order the beam although the architect hasn't completed their design so a beam will have to be sized up so we'll have to look at the worst case enveloping load conditions for the beam which will take you through principles in chapter 2.2 question 1a and we need to find, we would like to find the position where the worst case bending moment occurs and if you look at 2213 you can see that it's the mid span position so the maximum moment occurs when the load is at the mid span position you set up the beam it's L over 2 is the distance is 10 kilonewton the span is 5 meters that's L maximum moment is PL over 4 which is 10 times 5 over 4 which gives you 12.5 kilonewton meters question 1b and now we would like to find the position of maximum shear or maximum reaction at the support and this occurs when P is at closest to the support which is at the L over 3 position we've set this up next to the left hand side we call it RLHS and we find this by resolving moments about a point A uh, summation of moments is naught so RLHS times L is 10 times 2L over 3 and we rearrange the equation take out the L and we get 20 over 3 the maximum shear condition is 6.7 kilonewtons which is 2 thirds of 10 which occurs at the left hand side question 1C and we would now like to find what the maximum deflection is and this will occur likewise for the moment when P is at the mid-span position of the beam and going back to chapter 2.2 in the early figures the set up the forces we've got an I value of 1360 centimeters to the 4 an E of 205 times 10 to the 3 newtons per millimeter squared or MPA so the deflection is PL cubed over 48 EI putting in the figures making sure we have consistent units we come up with a deflection of 9.3 millimeters and now with question 1D we'd like to ex it's, it's common to express the to assess the magnitude of deflection to express this as a ratio of span over the deflection with consistent units so we set this up 5000 over 9.3 from 1C gives 537 circa 540 and a rule of thumb is that if this ratio for dead and live loads combined is greater than 300 to 360 then this is generally deemed to be acceptable in other words minimum distress to the finishes on the soffit or the underside of the beam where we have tensile strains uh, particularly sensitive with plaster work thank you very much for listening thank you